Hello everyone and welcome. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot. We're here to do your weekly tarot reading for January 18 through 24. This will be for all Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. All right, this is a general and intuitive reading, so not every message will resonate with every person. Take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest behind for someone else. So let's get right into it. Messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, please. Thank you, Angel Spirits, Guides. What do we need to know for the week ahead, please? Messages we need to hear. All right, and we've got the Wren Awareness. Okay. I'll go deeper into that in just a minute, just so you know. I'm just going to pull the rest of these. All right, messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, please. What do we need to know? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides, January 18 through 24. Messages for Leo, please. And oh, wow, okay, we have true love coming out for you. That's beautiful. That's not necessarily um, if you're single. You might be having a new love interest coming in for you. Um, if you are in a romantic partnership, that could be you leveling up. It can also be falling in love with yourself. All right, so we'll go a little deeper. And then we have stuck energy, but in the reverse. Okay. Wow, looks like we're breaking free from stagnation a little bit. That's very exciting. All right. So we're going to start with Ren. Okay, and I think I might actually read this uh, from the book for you, only because there's uh, a deeper message that actually has a good connection to the other energies that are coming out here. All right, but um, the the Ren is here. I'm just going to read it because I can't add love it as much as there's a deeper message here, and I just don't want to miss it. All right, and it's actually kind of cool the way uh, the way these are written in this book. So it starts with a little poem. All right. Uh, awareness. Awaken one and all this morn to tuneful songs upon the dawn. Observe to grasp and understand awareness raised across the land. I call upon Wren to assist me and harness this power so mote it be. I may be small, but I have a big message for you. Are you going to listen or continue to stick your head in the clouds to block out my cheerful song? You have been so busy trying to achieve your personal goals that your sensitivity to nature has been dulled. Your mind works overtime to reach the dizzying heights of whatever you're striving for. My mission is to raise your awareness so that you can observe your own perceptions and understand the apprehensions of others. You are bold and need to live your life in a carefree way. It's time to fly out of your comfort zone and be alert to messages from spirit to inspire others. Be the mesmerizer, draw others into the open draw others in to open their minds to different possibilities and bridge the gap between the material and spiritual worlds. Time to branch out, change direction, and follow the winds of self-realization that beckon you into new consciousness. Broaden your awareness, be willing to share your knowledge with others, be observant to what's going on, live your life to the fullest, search out all resources for the task, join a singing or dancing group. Time to make friends and build relationships, change your perception, and new consciousness is being birthed. All right. I love that one. That's a good one. That truly is a good one. And here's the thing. Okay. Live your life to the fullest. True love. So as I said, some people, okay, if you're single looking for love, all right, this is, um, this holds the possibility that there might be uh, a new, new romantic partnership or connection coming into your life at this time. All right. This can also be um, other people seeing you and giving you recognition. They see you for the wonderful person that you are, the wonderful work that you do. All right. So this can be a boss, a coworker, a friend, a family member, anyone in your life. Okay. The real deeper message for this also is the reminder from spirit to see yourself in this loving, beautiful energy. You see how she's looking in a mirror, okay? And she's got this bright light up here, okay? That's the light of spirit. So this is saying that um, 
love yourself and come into partnership with your true self and make sure that that is what you're projecting out into the world, okay? Because what we, what we project, we actually get back, okay? The law of attraction. So if you project negativity or if you live in the energy that I'm not good enough or I don't love myself, then that's what you're going to get back, right? So make sure you live in that energy of loving yourself. Um, um, get in touch with your higher self, your intuition, and then other, other people will see you um, the way that you are seeing yourself, all right? And that will actually attract them to you as well, okay? So <laughs> I love this one, okay? I love this reading for you so far, all right? We have stuck energy, but it's in the reverse. Halla freaking Luya. Okay, if you feel like you've been stuck in a cycle and nothing's working for you, you have no forward momentum, you can't figure out which direction you're going, you don't know if you're coming or going, and you're actually just not doing anything. Okay, if you're trying to look for a job, you're trying to look for a new love, okay, you're trying to find some sort of satisfaction in anything, whatever your situation, this is uh, congratulations because you're about to move forward. Okay, so you might have some sort of epiphany um, if you're working on a project and you, you've hit a roadblock and you're just like, I just can't figure this out. Um, you're either going to, um, all of a sudden, um, get that epiphany that you need, or you're going to have, have a look at something from a different perspective. All right. And that unsticks you. Okay. It allows you to move forward. So it's a beautiful forward momentum. Okay. This is the energy is finally being released. Okay. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a great energy, right? So get out of your comfort zone, go live your best life, right? Live your absolute best life, get out there, get outside, um, meet new people if you can. Okay. That stuck energy there. That could be depending where you are in the world. All right. That could be some social restrictions maybe being lifted. And now you can finally get out there and meet new people. Okay do some uh, other activities than what you've been doing, okay? And let's hope that, let's keep our fingers crossed for that, all right? So either way, uh, wherever you're feeling stuck, now is that time, okay? Now's that time to break free. So let's pull some tarot for you. Messages for Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, January 18th through 20, wow, four. Okay, all of these ones? No, not all of those ones, but we'll take that one. Okay, thank you. And let's see what else comes out here. So this one is the three of water. <laughs> Joy, celebrate, um, rejoice, beautiful, socialize, the call. There you go. There's your higher power right there. All right. Release, release anything that's not working. And then we have the moon. Wow. Okay. That's really cool. All right, a lot of good messages coming out here for you. So we have the three of water. It's a time to socialize, break free, rejoice, have some drinks, go to happy hour, get together with friends, okay? Uh, live your best life with this energy here, all right? So um, it feels as though as soon as your energy gets unstuck, um, this is what you have to look forward to. It's really beautiful energy here. It just, it's like... It's almost that getting you out of your shell. Is there a shell on this card? No, there's not. <laughs> I wouldn't have been surprised if there was. There might actually be. Um, but this is coming out of your shell, getting out into the opens, feeling the sun on your face. And, you know, it's just a wonderful celebratory energy there. Okay. Um, full of really good vibes, good things. Okay. Um, the call. All right. The call. This is card number 20. It's almost like a double ending. All right, but it breaks down into a two as well. Um, just depends how you view this one because it's also the, the start of a new beginning. All right, but this is, um, this is number one on a spiritual level. It's answering the call, okay? So spirit's trying to get your attention. Maybe you've had a spiritual awakening of some sort. This is waking you, waking you up to your um, higher self. Okay, and you're standing up and you're paying attention in this energy. Your intuition is likely very much on point with this as well because we already we also have the moon coming out as well. So that's um, the moon and and intuition are very deeply connected. All right. So, um, but this is also 
this is also freeing yourself from the past. This is a very healing energy. So for some of you, it feels like here that you're jumping for joy because finally, if you've been stuck and you've been stuck in the same cycle, um, you've been stuck in the past, okay? Maybe there's just been those those energies that have just been kind of stuck to you. You haven't been quite able to release them. Congratulations, now you are, okay? This is a freeing energy, a healing energy, something that allows you to move forward, okay? Um, you look upon the past and you realize the lesson, lessons that you've learned, but then you let the excess go, okay? And you have the tools that you need, everything to move forward, all right? This is like your, um, it's called judgment in others, uh, other decks, right? So like your judgment day is always the, um, review of your life right and then you take the good moving forward and you leave the past behind so it's a very freeing very healing kind of energy a very guided kind of energy here okay and once you once you do that yeah that absolutely is a call for celebration okay and you could also be uh because the moon we do have the moon here right beside it so um this can indicate that things that you previously maybe didn't want to address Okay, maybe things were hidden that you had kept deeply buried. All right, and again, some past hurts, something holding you back, and now this is those coming to coming to uh, the light. All right, and being addressed, facing your fears, right, uh, bringing things to the surface, and that allows you to break free and move forward. It's a very beautiful, loving, wonderful momentum. Okay, and in order for anything new to come in, right, we've got true love here, um, any, for anything new to come in, you do need to release the past and let things go. All right, so I'm going to pull some tarot here. Let's clarify, not quite ready. Let's clarify this three of water, please. Claire, thank you. <laughs> wow, uh, celebration upon celebration. We have the ten of cups. Okay, this is happiness, joy, emotional fulfillment, abundance. This is, you know, um, this is an ending. It's a happy ending, a rejoiceful ending, a wonderful ending, allowing you to have a new beginning and start fresh, all right, with a new perspective on life, a new outlook on life. Your inner radiance will shine as you move forward, okay? It's absolutely beautiful. Clarify. Oh, no, not quite. <laughs> That's me. That's not the energy. Uh, clarify the call, please. Clarify the call for Leo, please. What do we need to know? <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. Um, look at this abundance flow. Like, seriously, once, uh, wow, when you get unstuck, you're, you don't screw around here, okay? The Ten of Pentacles is um, successful completion. This is your home, your career, your finances. This is abundance in all forms. This is knowledge, wealth, you name it, okay? We have two tens coming up here, right? One after the other, one after the other, and these are the two best tens in the entire tarot, okay? Very happy, very joyful, very abundant energy. This is crazy. All right, let's clarify the moon. The moon is Pisces energy, by the way. So you might be dealing with a Pisces or you have Pisces in your chart. So let's clarify the moon. The queen of swords, there's your clarity. This could also represent um, a person coming into your life uh, quite possibly, okay? Queen of Swords energy, it can be male or female. All right, this is uh, air sign, so Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, all right? Um, a lot of people associate the King of Swords with Aquarius. I like to associate the Queen of Swords, um, um, but uh, this can be, okay, two different things. So we'll address the, the true love first, all right? If this is a new romantic partner, this is someone um, that has a great intellect, great sense of logic, all right? Speaks the truth always, sees the truth with ultimate clarity, all right? We do have the moon there as well. Um, and this would be a person that has a very deep connection to their higher self, their intuition, and their soul, okay? Probably someone that can also see into your soul as well, okay? So very interesting energy there. 
This can also be you stepping into this kind of energy, okay? Um, this is one of success and maturity, but again, that deep spiritual bond, that deep connection. So this can be you coming into partnership with your higher self, all right? And you see things with ultimate truth and clarity. You can cut through anything, um, any kind of BS, right? But this could be you coming into that connection with your higher, with your higher self and your, and, um, uh, and with spirit, right? Deep spiritual connection. Um, this is beautiful. Okay. I really say this is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to pull another card for this queen of swords. Clarify this queen of swords for me, please. <laughs> we have the four of wands. <laughs> okay. So, uh, the four of wands. All right. The four of wands is, uh, quite often called the marriage card. One of the marriage cards. All right, it's 1111, so it's new beginnings, double new beginnings here, okay? So you might want to look up additional meanings for 1111, all right, just so you know. Um, you might also want to look up uh, the meanings for uh, 1010, okay? So we have 1010 and we have 1111. So successful endings and very fortunate and prosperous new beginnings as well for you, okay? So for some of you, for some of you, this true love, this can absolutely be represented by the Queen of Wands here, someone that is willing to make a commitment with you, all right? Um, the Four of Wands, it's uh, they call it the marriage card, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. It's like the step towards marriage as well, but it's celebration and it's abundance and it's happiness and it's um, a level of commitment, okay? So um, this could represent someone that wants to commit to commit with you going forward. They're certainly not going to be shy. They want that emotional connection. They want to build that strong, solid family-based family foundation. And they might already have a family, by the way, just so you know, because um, the Ten of Pentacles is that generational um, energy. Um, but the Ten of Cups also does have children in it as well. So they may, all, they may already have had a family. They might be divorced or uh, some other, other kind of thing, single anyway. All right. But they're willing to make a commitment. That's what they're looking for. Okay. And for others, of in that's what you're looking for too, by the looks of it for some of you. Anyway, this can also be you coming up into that higher level of commitment with yourself, with spirit, with your, um, loving yourself. Okay. Loving yourself and celebrating. All right. And celebrating your newfound, um, self-confidence actually for some of you. Okay. Uh, it's really wonderful, wonderful reading for you. So certainly look up additional meanings of those numbers. Um, okay, let's see. So any other messages, please, for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising? What else do we need to know? All right. Outrageous openness. Dear love, open me to your will, release me from my attachments, surprise and delight me with your plan. You know what's needed and I am open, I am open to receive. Yes, you absolutely are, right? As soon as you release, right? Release the energy, release being stuck, release the past and look at what happens for you. Okay, absolutely beautiful reading for you guys. I wish you the absolute best week ahead possible. Um, all right. So be free, be joyful, celebrate. Okay. And love yourself. All right. So hopefully there was messages in here for you. If there was, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And, uh, I hope you have a wonderful week ahead again. And I thank you so, so very much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.